our volume unit is going to be in milliliters. We're going to put this in the calculator, 350.15 times 12.0 times 1.0. Oh, you don't have to put the 1 in. 273.15 divided by 5. If you don't use 2 divided by signs like that, make sure you've got a parentheses around it in the denominator. And so you'll notice that um, it looks like the little sig figs in here are still sitting at 3. So this gives me 3.07. I'm going to throw another one in just to show that the 7 gets bumped up. So 3.08 milliliters. So now I'm going to do something when I'm making my letters off to the side in this next problem. I'm going to go ahead and include the conversion off to the side. And then I'm just going to stick the conversion in the problem. So this does have a few things that are a little out of order. You'll also notice it doesn't have as many numbers. So this says the volume is held constant, and there's two ways to do it. So if it's constant, what that means is the volume at the beginning, and we could pick a number. Let's say that it's one liter. It's held constant, so it means that the volume at the end is also a liter. Look at how this equation works. If this is one liter and that's one liter, they cancel each other out. So any time that something is held constant, that variable is basically thrown out. Volume 1 will end up being divided by volume 2. They both are the same thing, so they cancel. So you're going to see that happening in this problem right here. So go ahead and try to work it on your own. I'm going to make the list off to the side just to make sure you've got the right numbers going in. And then you're going to rearrange the equation and make sure that you've got everything in there correctly. And then you can watch the video again and make sure that it's all good. So P1, V1, T1. Again, I'm looking for a pressure unit. Here is a pressure unit. 17.0 Tor. Looking for a volume, remember this says constant. And then T1, okay, it's at 25. So this is like the initial. See how this is increases to? That's a later on number. So this is 25. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the 273.15 just as reminded myself that that was not in the right unit. Then I'm going to switch to P1, V1, and T1. And P1 is looks like that's what I'm going to try to find what pressure and it says in tour and ATM so look this is in tour here so remember I don't have to change units for this equation it's going to come out in tour let's see my volume I just write that word constant again and then my temperature it says it's 40 and again I'm going to write in the 273.15 Kelvin so now you go ahead, write out the equation, write this form. You're going to rearrange it so that you're solving for P1. And then plug the numbers in, and let's see if you get this number here. Then remember, to get from TOR to ATM, whatever number in TOR you have, there are 760 TORs in one ATM. So you'll have a number here, and that's how you get it to ATMs.